You don't have to be around that man all the time. Something different to offer. You holding this man to a certain higher power than God. Hey you guys, it's your girl Brie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post vlogs, lifestyle, beauty, fashion, all that type of stuff. And now your girl is trying to get into her inspire women era because I don't know but recently I had a conversation with a friend and it just made me want to start using my platform to inspire other women uplift other women so that's what we're here to do so go ahead and make sure you subscribe and we're gonna get right into the video I wish like somebody would have had these tips for me you know your parents give you the general tip that you need to know but just certain things that i wish i knew sooner going into college and all that type of stuff so this is what this video is going to be about i want to be able to help y'all because i have heard so many crazy stories i've been through some crazy things myself come on girl come on come on let's go talk mindset have the mindset to be ready for this conversation all right so let's get into it number one Put God first. A lot of y'all don't even realize it, but y'all be putting that man before God and that ain't gonna work. Y'all be even putting yourself before God and then y'all wonder why stuff feel or stuff starting to look crazy. It's because you holding this man to a certain higher power than God and that's not gonna work. How you gonna put, try to make him outdo God and think he can do for you what God can't do for you? Baby, you need to pray ask god to remove whoever needs to be removed ask god to bring you genuine love pray for those type of things in your life and those things will start to happen for you because trust and believe if you gonna sit here and just make your whole life about this man put him over god like everything baby it's not gonna work like you already messed up doing that so let's let's not do that like a man who want to literally will never settle for less like i said the things that you want in a man can definitely be out there some people have their qualities and some people have their things that they need to work on everybody is not going to be perfect yes everybody may have their dream girl dream guy whatever the case may be but babe like literally let's let's be for real a lot of y'all like to go for one specific type of man but then they be messed up in every other area in their life and then you wonder why things not working out so also that don't mean you don't have to settle for less because i'm not saying sit here and deal with this man who may got everything together but then treat you like shit okay like no that just goes into valuing yourself i feel like a lot of women we get in relationships and then we forget the value the work that we hold as a woman everyone has something different to offer that don't mean okay just because this girl got this this what that person looking for that like no don't worry about that because you are you can't nobody be you you are one of one okay period you are god's creation number two let's stop with the term delusional because i'm starting to think some of y'all are becoming textbook definition delusional like i know it was this like social media ha ha thing because you know sometimes i joke around throw the word out like oh, delusional but no like some things are y'all actually being delusional and i'm kind of worried for y'all because y'all are literally like sitting in these situations being crazy will see a man cheat on you do all type of crazy stuff and some men don't even care they will flat out do it they don't even try to hide they don't try to be the sprint or none of that but y'all still go back the word delusional it is characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgment it is a symptom of a mental condition and mistaking your reality that says a lot because a lot of y'all are holding on to this dream that you can change a person or you can hold this person down or think you can be the best woman in the world you can do everything that you need for a man and think they're gonna change thinking that a man is yours when he is everybody these things for everybody I literally know of different people who be in certain relationships or whatever they man go cheat on them and then be acting all crazy at night why are you surprised especially after the first two three red flags like babe no and it's okay to give second chances i'm not saying don't give a person second chance because then we would not be acting as a child of god because god forgive us for all our sins so we need to forgive people for the things that they do and we can give people second chance god give us a chance every day we wake up because we did not have to wake up today 
the things we did yesterday, the sinful activities we did yesterday, we could have been dead yesterday. He did not have to wake us up this morning. So, I'm not saying you don't have to forgive people, give people a second chance. Give that man a second chance, okay? Hear me out. Give that man a second chance. And if he fumble you again, babe, he gonna keep fumbling you and all you gonna keep showing him is who you are and that you don't value yourself and that you don't you don't feel worthy of yourself and once a man see that's how you feel about yourself he's gonna treat you how you feel about you because if you sitting up here valuing yourself knowing the women that you are babe you ain't gonna put up with that and he gonna try like hell to chase after you because he know it ain't gonna be nobody else out there like you that know your value okay men like to trick over women that that's stupid okay that's straight stupid put a little more input into that and so when it comes to literally like okay like a person gonna be fed up when they get fed up like i've been seeing so many tiktoks of delusional people where it's just they're like oh i'm gonna keep going back i'm gonna keep going back i'm gonna keep going back like do the do them dog dirty like to me it's like as a woman i know sometimes your mind can get there to that sad phase but I feel like it's a certain level to the point where it's like, do you respect yourself? We need to start respecting ourselves more as women. But a woman that value themselves is not going to put up with no mess. Like, that's just it. Like I said, it's okay to give a person a second chance. It's okay to forgive a person. But, babe, after all of that, no. And then also, it was a TikTok. And it's like, basically like your friends enabling this behavior from you an enabler is a friend who will watch you play yourself for their entertainment and stuff like that because i you know what i'm gonna speak on this for a second in college a lot of girls want the athletes okay let's let's be for real for a second and i feel like friends of friends they friend can be in such a messed up relationship but they gonna look to that friend because the guy is an athlete and be like, no, stay with him, make it work, make it work. That is, stop. babe, your friend is enabling you, and we don't do enablers. Cause me as a friend, I'm gonna give you the advice that I'm gonna give you, and then you do it, do whatever you wanna do. If you wanna take him back, that's on you. But I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you should put up with this behavior. So also, I feel like decipher who your real friends are and who the enablers are. Enablers are. They just want to be around for when your athlete maybe make it because they all don't make it and then y'all be going cuckoo crazy, no offense. Decipher that because that will literally help you in the long run because even when you get older and you consider marriage and stuff like that, and everybody have a rough patch, whatever, but you gonna have those friends that you go to, da da da, and you, you want everybody around you that would have your best interest don't be around people that's gonna enable bad behavior stuff like that like i expect my friends if i'm doing something that's out of the norm for me to let me know like check me about it because period <laughs> into number three never dim your light to make a man feel secure and i say this because i don't know if y'all recently seen with tiana taylor and like little news articles about her going through a divorce and stuff like that but not even just that situation they spoke on it a little bit but literally don't stop shining if you a girl making your own money got your own apartment got your own car doing big things for yourself do not start limiting yourself to boost your man's ego because your man's ego is going to be able to keep up with that he going to be able to do his own thing matter of fact he's not even going to be he's going to be appreciative that you out here doing your own thing you getting your own money doing what you doing like never feel like you gotta lower yourself down for your man to stand out like and then i get sometimes why people go into conversation about mess with somebody on your level or somebody on a higher level than you me personally i would love a man that like is kind of on my level or either above me because then i can learn from my man he can help me you know things like that but if you in a position where you kind of got yourself going on even it can be a relationship because even with celebrities the man has something going on and the girl got something going on usually celebrities they both have stuff going on when they in relationships with each other but it's like why dim your light down to boost him up or make him feel good or make him feel secure also when i get into the topic of like insecure men like i feel like 
watch out for them. In previous relationships, sometimes you look back and you be like, dang, you look at certain situations and be like, he was kind of insecure. A man that like, don't let you go out, feel like you're gonna cheat on them when you leave the house, act like you don't know how to act on social media, like all those type of insecure things, I mean, just, just leave it. Cause it ain't gonna work. I literally, I tried talking to this one person like a long time ago, whatever. And their previous partner cheated on them. Literally like, there are certain things that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna stop being myself to make you feel secure. If you don't trust me, if there's no trust, it's not gonna work, okay? So literally like, don't dim your light to make somebody else feel secure because then 10 years down the road, you're gonna be like, I, I should be here in life, I should be doing this. Or you just gonna find yourself just moping around the house, not, you know? So don't do that. Into my next piece of advice, do not give up your life to be around that man all the time. <sighs> yes, I am guilty of this because they, my last relationship, that's all I wanna do. All I wanna do is be around my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. My man. But babe, don't do it because like just don't do it live your life and literally still go out with your friends do things that you would do on the regular a lot of times when people get out of relationships they find themselves looking clueless feeling clueless all this type of stuff because you done started surrounding your life around this man and now he not here no more and you don't know what to do and that literally happened to me like at the time the person i was dating they left whatever and so next thing i know i'm just hanging out with my mama, chilling in my room, cause I'm like, what can I do? And don't get me wrong, I still hung out with my friends here and there, but it wasn't like as often, like, as before. Before it was just my man, my man, I wanna go to my man's house, I wanna sleep, I wanna stay with my man, like, period, that's all it was. And I understand that, like, when you're in a relationship, you're going to be with your man, like, that's just period, who don't wanna be around a man? My point is, still live your life don't limit yourself don't be one of those girls who like your friends invite you out to stuff invite you out to dinner to hang out and stuff like that and like you find yourself not doing anything that makes you happy that enjoy that you enjoy to be with that man because babe he gonna want to go out with his friends and what he gonna do he don't care about you saying i just want to be with my mama. no he gonna go out with his friends so still live your life in that way God forbid if y'all relationship do ever end, you still living your normal life, doing your normal routine. Like, keep your normal routine. Do not start breaking stuff up. Like, and obviously for the people who may live with a partner, obviously still try to have your life outside of your partner. Remember to still be yourself, still have fun, still enjoy life. Don't feel like you have to stop doing this, stop going out to like, just be around your man all the time. You don't have to be around that man all the time. He gonna be here tomorrow, hopefully. Also, like I was saying with, you know, living your regular life when you're in or out of relationship, do not depend on a man for your happiness because it is not going to work. I see so many girls and young adults, women, whatever, making everything about them. If you're not happy with yourself, how can you expect for a man to make you happy? If you don't love yourself, how can you expect a man to love you? It just don't add up. So literally, don't depend on a man, even if it's a friend, don't depend on nobody else, depend on God, but don't depend on no earthly human being to make you happy other than yourself. Let me tell you something. When you sad, if you don't go to a therapist or nothing like that, you're gonna have to be the one plus God to pull yourself out of that sadness, out of that depression. Because babe, when you and that man done, he gonna go and live his life. Like I'm telling y'all, full experience. He's going to go and live his life. It don't matter about what you do, how many times you call, how many try times you try to like fix things, salvage things, whatever the case may be. You gonna find yourself like trying to do everything you can and then all of those feelings just gonna hit you at one time. You gonna be like, oh my God, oh my God, because like, mm, yeah, okay. I also feel like going into like new relationships with other people, look at your past relationships and you see what didn't work. Sometimes I feel like your previous partner will literally help you understand or know what you want in your next partner, what you are not gonna tolerate from your next par partner and what you expect out of your next partner. Don't always look at your past relationships like 
a negative things also like just try to see the positive of what you got out of there because sometimes i'm telling you god be looking out for you y'all be trying to hold on to these guys but babe let me tell you god be looking out because i've like been in certain situations where i look at situations now and i'll be like dang god was looking out for me like you know i feel like my next advice would literally be like when you first start talking to somebody or meeting somebody literally don't go full in because i feel like a lot of us girls we make those mistakes because some guys they don't always know what they want and we need to realize sometimes we don't always know what we want sometimes you may just feel like okay because somebody new done came into your life this is what i want i want to pursue this person but no that is not the case like literally learn about the person literally date go dating go out with this person because you can learn literally a lot of, about people during conversations with them interacting with them like all types of stuff and sometimes yes people will tell you what you want to hear but that's when you gotta have that listening ear for god to literally be like okay god like is this person for real or is this person trying to play with me it made me say they just this paint a picture like they just just wonderful good person because babe when you pray the devil also hears your prayers and baby he will send you a package that's good looking but ain't nothing in the bag of chips okay so literally like get to know people don't put all, like guys don't put all their eggs in one basket so why should you literally explore your options like when you first start talking with somebody you're not with you're not with that person until y'all both come to an agreement that y'all the only person talking to one another y'all not looking outside for other options babe he's still on the market and he gonna act like it so you need to be doing the same thing and i'm not saying go be a hoe because i feel like a lot of people be doing that too like you do not have to be a hoe to get male attention and that hurts my nerves like i see it so much in college see it so much in college you can date without being an hoe like you ain't gotta give it up you ain't gotta do none of that just be yourself like just vibe just vibe okay just vibe but yeah definitely babe stay in your ground stand your ground in life you're gonna go through things like that's how we learn from the mistakes that we made from situations that we choose to stay in everything's about life so i don't want y'all come on here thinking i'm beating up telling you to like just have everything in the tea because everything if that was the case i would not have had my own experience and know the things that i know now if i didn't go through those things on my own yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if y'all want to talk more see more videos like this make sure you go ahead and subscribe your girl trying to start posting more as well so if you guys want to see more let me know what days i should post i already post a video every sunday but let me know what other day throughout the week should i post um turn on that post notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye a peace of mind baby come and get a peace of mind yeah. Say you